should your company go for awards? By Srinivas Rauke. Four Indian companies have won the Deming Prize for 2019. With that, 33 companies from India won Deming Prize so far. One of the companies that won Deming Prize in 2019 is LG Equipments Limited, an industrial air compressor manufacturer from Coimbatore. I worked for this company for about seven years and that is a reason to be extra happy and proud of LG's achievement. Congratulations to all LGNs world over. LG is a good example of sustaining the excellence over a period of time. I can see two big reasons for this sustenance of excellence as an outsider with some inside knowledge. The first big reason is the commitment of the leader. The managing director Jali is fully committed to this process. This is a very big reason why they have won the Deming Prize now. I can't imagine LG going anywhere near the prize without this. His commitment, I am sure would have trickled down to every LGN. The second big reason is the full-time business excellence team called as LG Business System Team or EBS Team in LG. I have seen many companies who do not care to spend money on this full-time team and I have seen that their practices collapsed over a period of time. A full-time team is needed to sustain the practices and keep improving them continuously. This is a strong team in LG that motivates the employees to sustain the practices. There may be more reasons that LGNs would know. These are my top two looking from outside. So, how do awards help companies? Should you go for an award? There are many excellence awards available for manufacturing companies to challenge. Deming Prize, Deming Grand Prize, TPM Excellence Award, TPM Sustenance Award, Rajiv Gandhi National Quality Award, Bajaj Award, CII Award and so on. You can Google and you will get many of them. Let us look at whether running business is a sprint or a marathon. An athlete who runs sprints is generally muscular and his approach to the run is to put his full effort and cover the distance at full speed. He aims at putting in his full energy for that limited time and get the best result. An athlete who runs marathon is generally lean and strong. He aims at conserving his energies and run for the long distance. He aims at completing the marathon in best possible time. So, should you run your business like it is a sprint or like it is a marathon? I would say that we are good at focused efforts. Let me explain you more. My observation is that many companies struggle to maintain the momentum of improvement within the company. Teams keep losing their interest towards the goals. Senior management keep wondering why Kaizen's do not happen on the shop floor, why the sales team is not pushing with full vigor towards improving their market share and so on. We can observe the same behavior in our society too. The corporation cannot maintain the sanitation in the city. The police cannot maintain the traffic discipline. The road works seem to be happening forever. The flyover project seems to be going on without end. But we are good at getting things done if there is an emergency. Remember the Commonwealth Games in 2010 in Delhi. Even before couple of weeks, the games looked doomed. Lot of work was left incomplete. The foot over bridge 
in front of the stadium, collapsed with just 12 days to go to the games. Yet, we managed everything, and games were conducted without any major embarrassment to the country. I remember Tamil Manadu, a world conference on Tamil language, in Kumbatore in 2010. The whole city was in a mess with 10 days to go. But then, the government pulled its act together and got every work done in those last 10 days. Kumbatore got a facelift during that time. Everyone who works for a manufacturing company would know the tremendous efforts that the teams would put in us before the ISO certification, renewal audits, or the fantastic effort that the new product team has put in after threats from the customer that he will cancel the order if another deadline is missed out. There can be many more examples of focused and concentrated effort under duress. We are good when it comes to focused effort with clear goals. This effort has to be for a limited time. Otherwise, the problem of maintaining the momentum returns. I would suggest that you run your business like a series of sprints. It would be nice to run business like a series of sprints. Focused efforts with clear goals for everyone in the company. Internal motivation. If you can manage to do this without going for outside awards, it is better. The concentration is on business and business only. You can do it if you can create enthusiasm around the annual or three-year goals of your company. I would say the following are very important to make this happen. Clear goals for the company or individual employee. These goals have to be clear for the year or quarter or month or week or day. Company and individuals should be having good continuous learning opportunities. The environment in the company should be encouraging and enabling learning continuously. Leadership should be able to inspire the teams to raise above their normal potential and deliver something superior. If these three elements are there in your company, you can definitely create sprints that would keep motivating your team to keep delivering continuous superior performance. I would prefer this as the whole company would be focused only on business. Let us see how taking award route can be useful. Many companies use the award route when the internal motivation is not happening or they may choose it to add to internal motivation. There is nothing wrong with it. This is like an athlete taking a performance booster. You would agree with me that you can't be on performance boosters forever. Many companies learn how to create this sprint like situation in the company after a few awards. I also know companies who got stuck to the award culture forever. I do not recommend this. All said and done, companies do get slightly distracted when they go for an award. The award criteria can be nicely aligned with the company's business goals. But if it is not done properly, you would be doing a lot of work for the award in addition to your regular work. This is where the companies get distracted. The leadership has to ensure this does not happen. There are many companies who have failed to make their effort for an award aligned with their business goals. These companies will also lose the benefits of the award very fast. The excellence which seems to have got them the award fitters away very quickly. Having taken the award route, let us see how to get maximum benefit from an award. You won the award and you are on the top of the world. Savor the moment. The business exigencies are always there to remind you of reality 
that you need to handle. You need to ensure that you get maximum benefit from the award you just won. You can do some of the following. Ensure the goals of the teams and every individual in the team are clear and continues to be challenging. Don't let the team go for a long unwind after the award. If they are achieving something continuously, they can't be getting tired of achievement. If they feel their work is an achievement. Ensure the continuous learning environment is improving in the company. Celebrate learning in the company. Put learning goals for the entire company and every individual. Use technology like e-learning to help employees learn continuously. Micro-learning is a great concept that can help companies to build that elusive momentum towards goals. Address the employees and put them on to a medium-term leadership programs. Help them to sharpen their functional and leadership capabilities. Give regular feedback to the senior people. Help them become better leaders who can inspire the teams. Every leader at every level should be able to inspire their teams. Focus on encouraging the leaders to hit the road and work hands-on. Develop your own sprint practices without the award. These practices should be put in place immediately. While you may challenge another award, you still need to build the sprint practices without the award. Use the award to get over the award. In the next article, we will look at the process of winning prizes and awards.